forget her her stream anniversary? Wow, that's that's crazy. How could how could streamer forget her own anniversary? That's <laughs> that's wild. Can you believe? <laughs> Welcome in everybody. Hello, Mystic. Thank you so much for the eighth months. You now have eight PlayStation twos. Hi everyone. It is me. Your your um. Your national disgrace, EB Games. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for all the anniversary well wishes. So, I do have plans for... Oh, thank you. I do have plans for an anniversary thing that is in the works right now. Um, but it's not going to be ready yet. I... <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm always like the type. I'm a workaholic. I don't do shit for myself <laughs> So I made a plan to finally do um, I have a special song cover in the works for you guys And I actually I haven't posted a song cover um, On the new channel. Well, I've posted song covers before on my old music channel But now that I've like switched over and the VOD channel is now just the regular channel I haven't posted a cover there yet So we're gonna make the first cover there a very special one to to celebrate, you know, but thank Thank you gamers, I really appreciate it. I hope everyone is ready for some Skyrim Sunday. Yes, it is apparently my anniversary. I didn't know either. <laughs> it's crazy to think that, thank you for the heat. It's crazy to think that I've been doing this for like three years now. That's like, it's it's insane to me how much my life has changed in the past three years, you know? Um, I feel like I think of it like, this is gonna be offensive, but this is the only like way I can compare it. Like, I feel like I think of it as like, like, you know how they have, like, before Christ and then, like, after Christ? I feel like I think of my life in terms of, like, before VTubing and after VTubing. Just because things are, like, so wildly different. Like, if, if it weren't for VTubing, I wouldn't have, like, the fucking job I do today, you know? And I wouldn't have just, like... I don't know, my life would be so different if I didn't decide to be an anime girl on the internet, um, just for no reason. <laughs> but welcome in, everybody. So... Last time on Dragon Ball Z, bonk, let me shift over to the game screen. We uh, had a sick ass castle. We bought a house. Big things happen. Okay, I know the real estate market is crazy, but we did buy a house. Okay, and not only did we buy a house, uh uh, -uh we bought a sick ass fucking castle. So if you missed the uh, the castle house tour, um, then we'll we'll get some some. I'll give you some. I'll take a look at the at the banging castle because it really is banging. Uh, it is the most wonderful day of the week chat's got it uh, snacks and it's pussy on bus to watch tv and when she thinks what i was gonna have is the most wonderful day of the week i have a music degree <laughs> <laughs> but welcome in everybody and thank you again for the well wishes in the party hats. Oh, I need to unmute my um Oh, this is the wrong Skyrim save. Whoopsie, hold on. This is actually the YouTube Skyrim save. Hold up. Let me <laughs> EB not being prepared for stream. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's crazy. I would I would never. I would I would never not be prepared. That's crazy. That anyone who says that to you, that's that's propaganda. Okay, that's anti EB propaganda. Okay. Now we're cooking, but uh, this is actually the playthrough that's going on on YouTube. Um, ignore how one of my followers is... Well, we have one follower that's half naked and we have one follower that's a cat girl. So, you know, that's... <laughs> let's load uh, the correct one. Actually, let's just go back to main menu. Whoopsie. But yeah, now I get to hype them. Yeah, definitely check out the streams on Friday. I'm now streaming every Friday on YouTube. So where is my... There's my man. Moonstone Castle, now belonging to... EB games, okay? I bought the castle for 40,000 gold. It was honestly way less expensive than I thought it would be, okay? I thought I got a pretty good deal on the castle. I'm not gonna do a full castle tour again like we did last time, but um, we do have... Oh my god, everyone is running around. Hi. Hi. Hello? Hello? Uh, hold on. It's not picking up my audio. Let me double check that. I'm always ready. EB game streams are never scuffed. That'd be... That'd be so crazy. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Okay, that's okay. Uh, did you check the mercy mod out? I did not yet, but I definitely need to do that. But yeah, if you guys ever have any mods you'd like me to check out, feel free to post them uh, in the Discord, and I will definitely check them out. So, this is our castle. We have a new... It's really great we're friends. I was hoping to find some way to thank you. We have a new bitch. Does the trick. 
The house came with a free wench. We actually have a few new wenches. We also have a Lucian. We found him again. I still don't know where Anigo is. If you recall correctly, we had to uh, dismiss a bunch of our wenches for um, Forgotten City because my wenches kept pushing a man off a cliff and causing the end of the world on accident, which, like, you know, just girly things. But we have a big-ass castle. There's mm -hmm. lots of stuff to explore. There's all kinds of, like... Throne rooms and like um, crafting and all that jazz is just a nice ha castle, okay? Lots of rooms for fun activities, um, like praising the Lord together and not having orgies. This is a good, um, good Christian Minecraft stream. This isn't Minecraft and I'm Jewish, so those are both lies. But <laughs> let's go on. He's in Riften Jail. See, that's the thing is we picked him up. Right? We did pick him up. We just had to dismiss him. So I don't know where the fuck he went. Um, but when we found him in Riften Jail, he was just, like, sitting there cock out and everything. Which, like, honestly, what a way to be. You know? But this is, uh, this castle, I believe, is its own mod. It is called Moonstone Castle. Um, and the guy, I'm not sure if it's unique to Immersive and Epic, but I know he made the other castle here, too, that we took a look at. But, yeah, it's really pretty. We've got these, like, cherry blossom trees. Uh, we're, like, right in the mountains. It's just, like, it's so fucking gorgeous, dude. So, Lots of stuff is happening. We are still carrying. Um, he went back to jail. I leave him alone for like three seconds and he goes back to jail. Damn, that's crazy. But this is our castle like from the outside. The birds are birding. What's it calling? That's what it's called. Um, but there's our castle like from the from the front, you know? And now we just have like a whole ass woman and that's right. We're doing um Helgen Reborn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's why this guy's following us he's not one of my wenches he's just like here so that is the main quest that we've actually been working on is rebuilding helgen and stuff like that so we're gonna return to course see what's going on because right now the skinny has been we are kind of training the guards seeing if the guards are cool enough to be part of new helgen i don't know if they're technically calling it new helgen but i think they should call it new helgen you know like we got jersey and new jersey york and new york i think we should call it New Helgen, okay? I think that would be good. How do you guys feel? You know, I, I had asked a controversial question. I don't know if it was last stream on Twitch or on YouTube. But I asked a question that was somewhat controversial. I asked people what their favorite gas station food chain was. And my favorite gas station food... Welcome in, everybody! My, I am a sheet slut, okay? I am not a wah-wah whore. I am a sheet slut through and through. Isn't Jersey and New Jersey the same? No, New Jersey's like the sequel. It's in, like, America. <laughs> <laughs> but um apparently that was a controversial question some people some people had beats with me 7-eleven okay 7-eleven does fuck actually i when i'm at school we have a 7-eleven right down the street and i'll literally during my planning periods i will just walk to school get like a little cup of fruit and a taquito and i am cooking you know i'm having a good time i don't think i've ever gotten the food made gas stations listen people might say that it'll give you a tummy ache but I'm at the point in my life, everything gives me a tummy ache. So I just say, fuck it, and I eat whatever I want. <laughs> if I have to pay the... Oh, wait, that's not where I want. Uh, Okay, I want to see if I can beat out the loading screen. Shit. But I asked that question about gas stations. And this is the question I wanted to ask today. The question I wanted to ask today was... Did I forget it already? What the fuck did I want to ask you guys? Oh, my God, I wanted to ask you guys something, but now I can't fucking... <laughs> I can't fucking remember now. Whoa. I had it in my brain, and I started talking about 7-Eleven, and I got distracted thinking about taquitos, and now I'm... Fuck! Okay, <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back to me, but welcome it, everybody. Uh, let's see, where is Korst? All these people with stupid names. I've never heard of Sheets, where would that be? I'm on the East Coast, I think it is in New Jersey. I think so, the thing I wanted to ask, I think it related to New Jersey. I don't remember where it was. I'm, I'm like... I'm so far. I didn't take my medication today. <laughs> but that's okay. That is that is okay. I don't know. Maybe it was something to do with... Uh, I saw the Barbie movie today. Maybe it was something to do with that. Barbie was a very good movie, by the way. I really liked it. I got... I saw, like, girls on TikTok talking about dressing up. I dressed up for the Barbie movie. I posted okay. my outfit yeah. in, um, in the Discord. And good. I felt super cute. And I felt really pretty. And a little girl came up to me. And she was like, oh my god, you look like Barbie. I like your outfit. And one, that made my fucking life. But two, I felt, like, so cute. I felt so adorable. But my feet are fucking killing me. Because <laughs> I wore these big ass platform shoes with like bows and shit. But I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Um, we killed the warlock. What's next? We I'm sure I'll come up with that question. I had a spicy question, but I can't remember what it was. Is not happy that we killed his people mm. and took over Helgen. 
But thank we you, have Jesus. it on good authority that he's trying to recruit his forces near Pine Watch. And they have dug out the old mine there. Okay. They are making Inside were all Barbie. True. It was a very good movie. I highly recommend it. I laughed my ass off and I cried. <laughs> I cried like three times. I'll be real. All right. So we've completed all the changing of the guard shit. Oh, just kidding. There's more changing of the guard shit. God, there's so many fucking guards we have to work with. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm not Barbie or Ken. I'm simply Alan. True. Me and David are thinking about getting the I'm Kenuff hoodies. That's what we're we're thinking of doing. I don't know. I'm kind of concerned because I see, like, all these TikToks of people who, like, girls who bring their, their boyfriends um, or their husbands to the Barbie movie. And they're all like, he didn't like it. He thought it was stupid. He thought it was cringe. I'm like, I feel like Barbie is, like, the new litmus test. <laughs> Like, if I'm, like, if you start, like, for, like, seeing someone, it's like, what do you think about the Barbie movie? Hmm? Hmm? You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of, like, I feel so bad for them that, like, they're, they're, or, like, the spouses that won't even go see it with them. Like, girl, just Hello, like, get, get a new husband, you know? You. Like, uh, I just worry for people. Sometimes, like, that's the thing. As I see people... So, like, I don't know, maybe it's just because, like, me and David have been dating for, like, eight years now, I think. But I'll see people post shit on TikTok, and it'll be, like, the most heinous fucking shit that their partner does to them, right? And then the comments will just be like, oh my god, so true. And I'm like, are you guys okay? Are y'all okay? Like, it'll be like, oh yeah, my spouse just, like, called me an ugly whore. Oh my god, so true! Call the gate help! Oh my god, they're so nice! Anyway, come with me. Oh, right ooh. away. I can't wait. To he's a runner. He's a track do. star. Oh, you but, can't see it, but uh, he's a runner. Going? He's a track star. <laughs> All right, come with me. Bandits have neither courage. I've seen Reddit stories honor. with people literally I'll realizing their relationship was toxic because of Barbie. Yeah, like it's like, is it gonna be everyone's favorite movie? No, a taste is different for everyone. But people that just write it off as like stupid. I'm like, hmm. Hmm, my husband locked me in the cellar for two weeks for his food being called. He's so funny. Yeah, like they'll literally just be like, oh my god, he's so quirky. And it's like, girly, that's not quirky. That's abuse. Do I need the call? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just like, y'all, people's partners are crazy. Not me, though. Y'all stay safe. <laughs> I don't know. It was just wild. But it was cute, though, because we went to the theater and everyone was dressed up. Like, everyone had, like, little different, like, pink fits on. I was kind of concerned because the Barbie movie is PG-13. And I did see a lot of little girls there. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh, like, I can see why they, like, thought it was, um, I don't know. I, it, it was definitely not kid-friendly, but I could see how, like, parents were, like, chill with it. Because a lot of the jokes would, like, go over your head, you know? Some people would rather be in bad relationships than alone. I've met a lot of people like that. I don't know. I was talking to my friends about this. And, like, I've lost a lot of friends in my time because people have told me I'm too honest. Okay? Maybe this is the tism. Right? Uh, David's like, help me. Evie keeps getting their bitches pregnant. Yeah, me and David's relationships problem uh, revolve around me having too many bitches in Skyrim. And I'm not sharing. So, you know. But anyway, um, I've lost quite a few friends in my day. Uh, and... Oh. Are you, you guys okay? Oh, 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 one of them's just in the ground. Oh, are you, are you good? Oh, okay, all right. The, lots of things are happening today, ladies, huh? Huh, what? Oh, just, excuse me, I'm trying to tell a story. Oh my God, these vampire thralls are so rude. Jesus, okay. But um, I've lost quite a few friends because I have friends that they'll ask me, they'll be like, hey, can I ask your opinion on something? And I'll be like, yeah, sure. And I'll, and I'll even give the disclaimer, because this is obvious with my time. I'll be like, do you want me to be, like, honest, or do you just want, like, comfort? You know, because sometimes people are stupid. Sometimes people make bad choices, but they don't want to be told they're making a bad choice. That's fair, right? Sometimes you know you fucked up, and you don't want to be reminded about it, and you just want someone to be like, hey, bro, it's going to be okay. You know, I respect that. So I'll ask them, I'll be like, do you want my genuine, like, advice, or do you want... Here, let me turn the game volume down. Do you want my genuine advice, or do you want me to, like give you the skinny you know and they'll be like give it to me straight eb i'm like okay i had this one friend at one point and she asked me um oh my god the game is still hella loud let's turn just like the uh effects off maybe yeah and i'm gonna turn the 
audio on stream down too because it's like blaring in my ear tell me if it gets too quiet for you guys but she asked me she's like eb can i ask you um a question and i was like sure what's it about she's like well i wanted to know what you think about my boyfriend and i was like okay um i personally think your boyfriend's probably not great for you because every time he comes over you have a panic attack and are afraid <laughs> Like, that was my honest opinion, because her boyfriend was like, here, yeah, I think I fixed it. Sorry, audio's, I'm having all kinds of issues today, bro. But every time her boyfriend came over, because he was like a trucker or something, right? And there's nothing wrong with being a trucker, right? You know, truckers are like the backbone of America, you know? But what would happen is he would come home, and he would do, and she would, like, do all this shit to make sure he had a nice time coming home, right? Like, he would, like, she would, like, make, like, a bunch of, like, his favorite foods and stuff, and she would, like, clean up everything. And regardless of how much she did, he would always bitch at her, right? And I'm like, ugh, I don't like that, you know? I, I didn't like that, and I didn't like seeing her go through that, and I didn't like seeing her be sad. No one wants to see their friends sad. And if my friend's sad, I'm going to try to eliminate the source of the sad. Traditionally through nonviolent means, but, you know, sometimes a bitch has to fuck around and find out, you know? So... I told her, I was like, I think you should break up with your boyfriend, because I think he's a fuck. <laughs> I think that was, like, my literal words, too. I was like, I think he's a fuck. <laughs> and two days later, <laughs> two days later, she texts me on Discord, because, of course, it's on Discord, right? She texts me, and she says, hey, EB, I've decided I no longer want to be friends with you, um, because uh, I want to be, she literally said that I wasn't, like, interesting enough to be friends with her which is like probably the most bizarre thing i've ever heard like she literally was like i just want to be friends with people who are more interesting and you're just not interesting to me and i was like okay hey. um uh, which is I, I, I don't know i feel like just if you're only being friends with someone because they're like interesting to, like i don't know that was just weird to me i'm also trying to figure out where the fuck i'm going i don't know where the hell i'm going i think it's over yeah no because this all leads over here I, like, I know I need to get over there, but how? How? Can I just... There's something down there, you know? Am I missing something? Like, there's a little... I've got to be missing something. Hold up. Uh, interesting. In this context means you weren't... Yeah, I'm not... Like, a, I've never been, like, a yes-man type, right? I'm always going to give it to you straight. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is she sent that message, and I didn't even get to say, like, oh, okay, um, good luck, you know, like, okay, have a nice life. Because she, she blocked me on everything. Not only did she block me on Discord, but she blocked my cell numbers, she blocked me on Facebook, she blocked me on everything. She did not hesitate, which, like, okay, sure, whatever. Also, I'm trying to figure out, I'm still trying to figure out where the fuck I am. Um, can I open my map? Yeah, it says, eliminate the bandit threat. Okay, so turn around, right, go forward. Because I see... It's gotta be right in front of my fucking face and I'm ignoring it. Hold up. Can I just like, how do you get up there? Oh, whoopsie. Like I genuinely am like, huh? Do I climb up here? Is that even doable? Oh, well, there's potions. I don't, I'm not gonna turn around free potions. Do I have to do some parkour bullshit? Cause I'm wondering if I can just like, do I have whirlwind sprint? No, I don't. Cause that was my other thought is can I whirlwind sprint my ass over there? there what do you want me i think i have to just like parkour but like like how am i gonna get up there cameras i'll be real with you i have no fucking idea what what kind of hopscotch bullshit are we going for like okay you know i can't uh, chat am i missing something i gotta be missing something like come on bro come on come on can i come on come on what is going on yeah, I don't think there's another way to go. Like, like it has to be that way. But there's no other... Like, can I... No, there's not, like, a crawl space or anything. I'm genuinely, like, flabbergasted. The fuck do I do? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> but yeah, that was the thing. Is she just, like, blocked me on everything. But here's the skinny of it all. Okay, here's the real key. Is her boyfriend had lended to me, let me borrow... Like, around $200 worth of Dungeons & Dragons books. Because this was when I was starting to, like, do my own DMing and shit. And, um, I never gave them back to her because she blocked me on everything. If you've ever, like, taken voice lessons with me or seen, like, the background of, like, my room when I'm doing IRL streams. All of those D&D books over there, they're not mine. 
I've never bought in a s- bought in, bought in, bought in. I've never bought a single D&D book myself. They're all this girl's ex-boyfriend's book. It's been years at this point. What was your question? I think I missed it. Um, but it's been years at this point. So it's like, I'm not gonna give them back to her. Like, I think she's still- The one thing she didn't unadd me on was LinkedIn. And like, I think she's a nurse now. So like, good, good for her. You know, like, I don't wish her like ill or anything like that. But I'm just like- Huh? They were always yours. Yeah, I guess I earned them, you know? But the whole thing was just like, it was so bizarre. If you had to be a frog, what frog would you be? I don't know the types of frogs, but I'd like to be one that's poisonous, you know? Like, I don't know enough lore about frogs. <laughs> I'm not doing it! Welcome in! Um, I don't know enough frog Gaslight lore. Um, oh, good point. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. You're now Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. But yeah, I don't know enough frog lore to know the specific types of frogs, but I'd want to be one where, like, you touch it and you die. You know what you I mean? I want to be a gay frog. I think all frogs are a little gay. Not, like, biologically, but, like, they've got the spirit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think that's what I'd want to be. I want to be a frog that can kill you just by touching it. I think that'd be metal as shit, you know? But yeah, so that's how I uh, accidentally stole two hundred dollars worth of a uh, worth of D and D books. Yeah, girl welcome. Boss. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, game, right? Thank you now. Guess I could keep girl boss, you know? But um, I don't know. I have a lot of. That was like a weird thing that happened in college. There were a lot of weird things that happened to me in college. I like the thing with me in college. I don't know if I've told a lot of college stories. Uh, I want to be one of the frogs that Alex Jones was talking about. They turn the freaking frogs gay. I mean, yeah. Like honestly, if one frog can turn every frog gay or one chemical can turn every frog gay then like shit i'll take it i'll take 12 you know uh, you didn't steal them you got them from the lost and found dead ass i'm wondering yeah because maybe i'll go up here and that's where the rest of the bandits are i think that'll make sense let's see yeah, i told a few crazy stories from college uh before i the thing with me in college right was I was a music major, right? I was a music ed kid. And here's something I learned very quickly in college um, that honestly shouldn't have been a shock to me, but it was, right? So I was an education major, meaning I was studying to be a teacher. For those who don't know, I'm a music teacher. Um, well, that's okay. It's okay if you can't come to every stream. Yeah, oh, we just go in a big fucking circle. Okay. Where the fuck are the rest of the bandits then? Huh? No, but um, the thing with being a music ed major and something that fucked me up in college is um the teacher majors were often some of the absolute worst people i had ever met in my goddamn life <laughs> every teacher i had met okay well not everyone there were a lot of there were a lot of like chill people there but so many of them <laughs> were just fucking awful okay so many of them were just like probably some of the worst people I had ever met. And I think what it came down to is a lot of them weren't becoming teachers because they wanted to, like, work with kids or help people. They were people that wanted to become teachers because they wanted to, like, hold a position of power or some shit, which is, like, fucked up, you know? Let me take a sippy. Mm. Like, no one should become a teacher because they want to, like, have power over others. I think that's really fucked. Um, but it's very common, unfortunately. So... And a lot of the music ed majors were very clicky. Oh, here we go. Wait, no, that's where I went down before. Hmm. A lot of the music ed majors where I went were very, very clicky. You know, like, they all kind of... They didn't like me for one reason or another. What They were all friends with me. Um, but then what happened... I remember exactly... Ooh, someone was having a good time. Oh, maybe not having a good time based off the title of this, but... But I remember... All of them were friends with me until this one thing happened. And the one thing that happened is I got very lucky. And I got offered a permanent position. Um, I got offered a whole ass job as a permanent music sub uh, for the county that I had been interning in. So someone getting a job offer um, to be a teacher, essentially, to be a permanent substitute at what was I? I was 19 I think is pretty fucking crazy and I was I was happy about it you know I was really proud of myself it was like damn maybe I'm pretty good at this uh this teaching thing you know and so I told my friends at the time about it because I was like maybe they'll be they're gonna be so proud of me oh my god so I told them I was like guys guys I got offered a job they, they like me so much they want me to be a permanent substitute and then they started being really mean to me 
<laughs> so it literally all came down to jealousy, right? Which is like, okay, jealousy's a disease, bitch. Get well soon. Um, here, hold on. Where's the other guy? Because it, is it just this guy? Is, is it just you? Oh, it's, it's just you, huh? Explode them with your brain. So what happened is they started being mean to me, and it started off as really subtle. Um, it started off as just like, them not inviting me to things and then it turned into like them um excluding me and not helping me with like theory homework and the thing with theory is that was something where we very much were like all in it together right um and it culminated uh the way it culminated was um there was like this ringleader of all of them right it felt very like stereotypical high school shit you know what i mean um and there was kind of like this ringleader of all of them. And I'm not going to, we're, we're going to call him Jared. Okay. And Jared was a vocal major. Um, and he was a very, I don't want to say flamboyant because that sounds like, he was very like open about being gay, which like, I am also very open about being gay. You know, um, I've never really hid the fact that I was bisexual. You know, I, I, I stream me yearning for Skyrim women uh, twice a week at this point. I am I am very much of the alphabet mafia variety, right? I'm trying to see how the fuck do I get out of here? I guess the way I came, but it seemed like there was a easier way to do that, but that's okay. So basically, yeah, fuck you, Jared. So basically, his whole thing that I later found out is he got bullied in school yes, a lot. Like Geek, um, Geek Smoke, Geek thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, gamer. You're not guessing like keep girl boss. But his whole thing is he got bullied a lot in school for being gay. Right. Um, so did I, <laughs> you know, I was the first kid in my middle school to come out and I, um, I mean, it wasn't like a hate crime or anything. Oh, here's the key. I didn't get like hate crime or anything like that, but I did have a few people threaten to kill me and I did have a few people beat the shit out of me. So I guess it's a hate crime, but like, does it count as a hate crime if they're like 12? Does that still count? I don't know. I don't really think about it that much now, you know, but I definitely got my that got a little tussled up <laughs> over being gay as well. You know what I mean? Um, so that was his whole thing, and that's why he was a bully. Because later on, he did apologize to me about the whole thing and was like, I'm so sorry I treated you that way. I'm, like, going through a lot and, like, deconstructing my, like, experiences. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And the reason I was not super keen on his apology, and this is why, like, it kind of makes me mad when people accuse me of, like, talking about my autism for clout on TikTok. Um, because I think a lot of people have seen the rise of, like, people self-diagnosing and stuff on TikTok, which, personally, I don't think self-diagnosis is a problem. A lot of times, self-diagnosis is the first step to, like, a real diagnosis. But I think people see that, and they assume anyone talking about autism in, in jest is, like, doing it because they're, like, trying to seem cool or quirky or whatever. And it always really bothered me when people accuse me of that because <laughs> not only did I face a lot of ableism, like, in my K-12 through schooling, but what happened is at one point um, I expressed that I was a little bit scared <laughs> about my theory grade, my music theory grade. And Jared, with zero hesitation, looked me dead in the eye and said, Eb, you need to shape up or ship out. You don't belong here. And then he said, um, our words aren't supposed to be teachers. You don't belong here and you need to figure this shit out or get the fuck out. Zero hesitation said that to me. <laughs> and I was, it, it fucked me up real bad because the worst part was after that, I had to go sit next to him in a two hour theory lecture. And I was just like, I don't know what possessed him to say that, you know, like I get being jealous, you know, like jealousy is a disease, but get up soon, but like. It was just so cruel and so mean. It's like, okay, whatever. So basically, he kind of made sure no one wanted to hang out with me or no one wanted to be my friend um, because the way he said it is any opportunity I got was because people felt bad for me and pitied me and any opportunity I didn't get was because I was too R-word for it. You know, I was very open about having autism in my schooling because... The way I saw it is, you know, you're going to be working with kids that have the same disability I do. And I, you know, went through a lot of shitty shit at the hands of my teachers. It's part of why I wanted to be a teacher is because I didn't want kids to go through the same experiences I went through, you know. And so being open about it kind of 
backfired on me. You know, I thought that people would be like empathetic, I guess, but nope. (laughs) Nope. So what I ended up doing is I ended up actually spending a lot of time at David's college instead because I had no fucking friends um, in the music department because Jared was like, get out of the way, Patsy. I'm trauma dumping. Anyway. (laughs) But basically, I didn't have any friends at my my regular college because Jared kind of made sure no one wanted to hang out with me because I was stupid. Um, And the thing with being a music major is traditionally, for those of you who haven't been to college, traditionally semesters are like 16, maybe 17 credits. The traditional music major semester is usually 18 to 21 credits. Uh, We are in class from... I think most semesters I was in class from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I had a lot of 12-hour days. I had a lot of nights where I did not sleep just because for music education, there's just so much we need to know, you know? Um, my certification has me equipped to teach K-12 through band, orchestra, and choir. No, um, and that includes perfect. everything from, like, you know, teaching you how to read the treble clef staff to AP music theory, you know? So it's a lot to cram into my little noggin, you know? So... And the thing is, though, is if you're not friends with the music majors, you don't really have time to make other friends, you know, which is kind of shitty. Um, but what I would do is every weekend, <laughs> I would drive six hours from my tiny little beach town college in Maryland uh, to David's College in bumfuck nowhere, Pennsylvania. Oh, Beatles! If a mom could give Beebles a shout out, I'd appreciate it. How was your stream, gamer? Oh, thank you for the affiliate um, anniversary. Thank you. Oh, Raven, thank you so much for the follow. You don't guess I can't keep Girl Boss. How's your stream? What'd you stream? Mm. Thank you for the happy affiliate. I didn't even know it was my affiliate <laughs> until I saw it. <laughs> Is the bot just not working today? Oh, that's cringe. Uh, I'll have to check on that later, but welcome in, gamer. Oh, there it goes. Okay, thank you. We're just talking about, we're playing Subscribe, and I'm talking about um, my fucked up music school experiences. Um, But yeah, I would drive six hours uh, every weekend. Six hours there, and then six hours back um, to go hang out with David and his friends, because they were way nicer to me and way more chill um, than my music school friends, you know? And I had tried to, like, join, like, other clubs and shit, but... At the, ultimately, at the end of the day, I didn't have time. And nothing really happened at my college on the weekends because most people just packed up and went the fuck home, you know? So that's what I did for, like, four years is I just, like... Well, not four years because COVID kind of yeeted a bunch of it. Um, but I really just, like, drove 12 hours every weekend. <laughs> Which is crazy because nowadays I literally... I can't drive more than, like, two hours without getting, like, tired. But I used to, like, drive for six hours, no problem. There were some times where I would do the whole drive without stopping. I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, I want to see my mans, and I want to hang out with friends. Um, Because that's the thing is it started as me just, like, visiting David because I missed him. But then it ended up with, like, a lot of, like, friendships being created there. And it wasn't just, like, like yeah, obviously I was excited to see David. You know, but I also was really excited to um to see my friends. You know, I made a lot of close friends at that college. Um, I was doing some game dev. Oh, nice! Uh, extremely messy because I haven't touched it in a year. Game dev is wild. <laughs> game dev was def is definitely wild from someone who is uh, dating a game dev. It is it is wild. But yeah, I don't really talk with anyone from college anymore. There was a lot of like there was a lot of drama and stuff with that. Um, that ended up happening, which is, you know, unfortunate, but, like, it is what it is, you know? Um, like, I don't, again, I don't wish really, like, ill will on anybody. Like, even people that, like, fucked me over. I'm just not the type of person to, like, I used to be the type of person where I would be like, oh, you're mean to me? Perish, (laughs) you know? But as I've gotten older, it's kind of just like, well, I hope they're not, like, dead, you know? I hope they're, like, doing okay, you know? But, I don't know, you know? I don't know. But yeah, TLDR, more of the story is uh, don't be mean to people. Don't become a teacher just because you want to have power over others because that's fucked up. Um, and don't call people the arsler. <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> that's a no no. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see. A lot of the quests we've been doing right now for Helgen Reborn, I haven't ever actually finished Helgen Reborn. Um, Oh, right, we have Sex Caliber. Oh, thank God. Yeah, don't be a Jared, right? You know that commercial where it's like, she went to Jared. No, don't go to Jared. <laughs> don't go to Jared. Don't be me. Wait, my bush. Oh, God damn it. My bush isn't working again. Okay, what spells can we use? Um. Oh, wait, who's whispering in my... Me- 
ear. Did you hear that? There was like a little like, you know what I mean? That's okay. Uh, solar ray, I guess. Oh, whoa! What? 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 What is happening? What is happening? Oh, Mousy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. You're not gassy. I can keep going. What is? Why? Why is it dark? Why is it dark in here? Wait. What was that? Is it because of the sex caliber? My magnificent bastard sword. Wait, what, what did the sex caliber do? Is that why everything got all like dark? Did I have sex on accident? Wait, I don't fucking know, bro. I don't fucking know. <laughs> that's okay. Alrighty, that's that's it. What? What is that? What is that? What is happening? Wait, what is happening? Oh, I have to. I have to auto mod. Auto mod decide to cuck the word slutty. Have you ever had a slutty brownie? Elaborate. I love brownies and I love sluts. I would like to know more. <laughs> Please tell me more. Um, yeah, I kind of want to know what a slutty brownie is. I'm trying. I'm still trying to think about what I fucking wanted to ask you guys earlier, but I can't remember. What What is going on? It says Elven Armor of the Voice descending light. What What is happening? A brownie that gets around. Oh, good for her. You know. Yeah. What? What is going on? Is haunted shape? Wait, I should have spells that it's from the quest. Oh, okay. I really thought I was like tripping acid or some shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's base game. Okay. Oh, so this is something then with with Helium Reborn. Alright, well let's consecrate some ground real quick. Bonk! Um, cause that should wait, do the shades count as undead? Come on. It's a brownie in the middle and a cookie on the bottom? Oh, that is slutty as fuck. Hell yeah, I'll have twelve. I will take 12. Okay. That's a lot. I'll be honest. It sounds very good, but it's a lot more boring than I was expecting. I really thought it was going to be a brownie I, like, stick my dick in or something. I don't know. This is not the question I was going to ask you, but what foods do you guys think are the most fuckable? Like, I don't have a penis, but if I did, right? Hello? Did you come to play with me? I can't have this conversation anymore. Hold, we'll have to resume this at a later lady. date. Hold up. Come and play with me, and we can play forever and ever. Who are you? You'll see. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> Just come on and let's play. You're not scared. I am not gonna you? be one of those white people in the horror movies that goes in gung ho, gets like shot, and is just like, oh my god, how did this happen? See? See? That's not a little girl. Ah! Okay, oh um, 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 that is. Not that, that, that is more than I bargained for. I've, I've been trying to tell you anything. Yeah. You heard of me, and that's just who I am this week. Okay, um. Come on, let's play. Come on, let's play. What the fuck was that? Did you see him? Did you? What was that? For just a second. You must have made him really mad for him to come out. What? <laughs> Why is one your natural points of panic singing Fall Out Boy? I don't know. It's just it's a reflex, okay? I, I don't know, man. Do you want me to do you want me to sing something else when I get panicked? Do you want me to throw in some some fucking show tunes? I don't know. I did see him. Who is that? And who are you? I'm and do you have thin mints? He's a very mean and nasty man. You mean mean and nasty man? Shut up. Why are you, what are you doing in here? Where are your parents? My mommy and daddy used to work in here. And they'd bring me along to play sometimes. That's fucked up! But you, they, they shouldn't be putting a child in a dangerous situation. Who are your parents? I have some calls I need to make. Hey, Hannah, uh, girly pop, I am so sorry to tell you this, but, uh... Yes, I know. They're dead. And I know I'm dead, too. Oh, well, you just know it all then, don't you? Okay, well, why are you here? Because of the bad man. He won't let me leave and go be with Mommy and Daddy. Who's the bad man? To other people who the dragon? But it's him, not me. I don't want to scare and hurt people. Well, you scared the shit out of me, so you got to work on that. I'm scared all the time. I just want to go. <laughs> Fucking you and me both, girly. <laughs> like me too. Maybe I can go away. Maybe I can go be with my family. Uh, why do you think I can help? Why do you think me and my ten beautiful weed smoking girlfriends can help? Killed his spiders. And that one twink back there. And even his dragon. I bet you can kill him too. Probably. Can you help me? 
Why are you need me to do? Okay, first you need to go to the bottom of the mine. It's scary down there and you can hear miners, but you can't really see them much. So we back in the mine. Too. But they won't ever talk to me. But you might need to kill them all. You really need to like lower your him. tone yeah, when you say that. You sound him. way too excited about that. I better go before he comes back. She has no eyes. I mean, she doesn't have any parents either, but I'm not going to call her out on that. Like, <laughs> she's casually asking you to kill a bunch of dudes. Yeah. She, uh. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess we need to eliminate a presence then. Um, loving the ominous red light over there. Very cool. Um, let's check out. You know what? Fine. We will. We will. Fine. Whatever. What? What's over here? What's poppin'? What's what's going on? Why is it red? It's got like that gamer lights going on. Why why is the mine LEDs? What is, who are you? Oh, you're dead. Okay. Whoa! Can you Wow! What is happening? Oh my god, oh my god, ladies, ladies, ah! Why didn't my women help me? Oh my god, I just died immediately. Women, are you all just going to stand there and watch me die? I just... I think I just got fucked up by a Daedra. God damn it. I just wanted to get fucked by a Daedra, but not like this. That's crazy. Um, Do you hear someone just mining in the background like nothing fucking happened? <laughs> uh, they really said... Uh, Anyway, <laughs> okay, let's try this the fuck again. Okay, um, the past seems like a distant memory. I do not know where I am or how I got here. That Dremora Warlock is not worth my dimer energy. Um, I need pop-ups like this when like bad things happen to me, right? I just need something like this to come up and be like that da -da 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 is not worth my time and energy. You know what I mean? Oh, I think I remember what I was going to tell you guys. It wasn't a question. But um, also, where the fuck am I? Hey, ladies, where are we? Guys, where are we? This is... Why, why is it all dark? Can I... I, I where, where the fuck are we? Be careful where you step in the mine. Don't want to cover <coughs> up some valuable ore or gems or, or something. Why, why is it all dark? What is, what is happening? Oh, hi, Vons! I hope you enjoy your con. Enjoy. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. What is the... Uh... Huh? Why is it dark? Why am I blinded? Is there like... Deep breath. So, none of this... Is this really like because... No! 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 Now is not the time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Absolutely. No. No. I'm not. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not. Uh-uh. 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 No. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. A absolutely fucking not. Okay. There's enemies nearby. Fantastic. And I'm blinded for some... Oh, fire dragon. Okay, great. Um... Oh, look at his run. Wait, look at his stupid little run. Look at him. <laughs> Why does he run like that? Look at him! <laughs> Go, boy! Go, white boy, go! <laughs> yes! Okay, um... Yeah, what is going on here? Why is everything blurry? I think it's glitched because the game thinks you're... Yeah, I think it is glitched, but now there's... Now there's a... Oh, okay, now there's a guy over there. Okay, let's, um... Yeah, I, I'm still mad that it took away my, my bramble growth. I don't know if it's like bramble growth is like... Oh, okay, great. It's shooting fire. Fantastic. I don't know if Bramble Growth is one of those things where, like, it can only um, work in certain areas or if it just bugs out. Genuinely. Because I like Bramble Growth a lot. It's OP as hell. You know? Here. Bush! Brace my bush! My all-powerful bush! It's lengthy. Are you dead? Now that's a real man. That, that, that's a drag... What? Oh, she's talking about me. Oh. I thought she was calling the dragon a real man, and I was about to be very offended. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> I'm living for the one that's just like, wow. You know, like, me too. Okay, but anyway. 
So, in spirit of the Barbie movie, right? Because I was very excited to go see the Barbie movie. Um, basically, I started downloading a bunch of, like, old Barbie games from 2005, right? And I started playing them. And uh, one of the first ones I played was the best game of all time. And it, an incredible game, right? It was Barbie Horse Adventure, okay? So I go play through Barbie Horse Adventure. And something I really liked about Barbie Horse Adventure, by the way, is in normal video games, if, if you're going the wrong way, they don't tell you, right? But in Barbie Horse Can I cast this here? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. But in Barbie Horse Adventure, I can't see Ooh, shit, by the way. We killed the dragon. Go team. Yay. Team us. Yay. Yep. I fucking love Lucian. Go He's so us. cute. But in Barbie Horse Adventure, right? If you go the wrong way, okay? If you go the wrong way, you get a little voice line from Barbie that's like, looks like that's the wrong way. Let's go down a path we haven't seen before. Or like some shit like that. And I need a mod, okay? I need somebody to mod into Skyrim fucking Barbie. Just because y'all know, we, we have spent like we spent like 20 minutes at the same spot. I need a mod that's just Barbie going like, looks like we've been down this path of the dungeon before. Try another path. I need that, okay? I need that in my life. It would be life-changing for me okay i don't know if i want to go see the rgb shit because the rgb shit got me killed last time and i don't like it we're gonna save okay i tried to save your tiktok story was going yeah i had a lot of fun i felt very cute i loved my outfit but the platform shoes did fuck up my feet <laughs> giga chad ken when i don't know me and david are thinking about getting matching ken hoodies because those that, that shit was funny yeah okay this barricade blocked my wives from helping me which was very rude. Didn't like it. Here, can we get this out of here? Can we, yeah, get get that out of here. Get get that out of here. Can, can we break the... Can we... Oh my god, Severin, you have noodle arms! He has, like, no stamina. <laughs> come on, break the barricade. We need our wives to come with us. Okay, the skeleton resisted sex caliber. The skeleton's dead, okay? Um, but yes, highly recommend going to go see Barbie. It is a very good movie. Okay. Since my wives might decide to have the stupid and not follow me, what we're gonna do is we're gonna preemptively cast Oak Flesh. And I think I have some spells that are like especially effective against Daedra and Undead. So there's aid, right? But Daedra don't also count as Undead. I don't I don't think they do. Uh targets of cloud are 30% weaker to warlock minions, chase snow horizon, or chase that horizon, okay. Um, I can also summon a snow leopard. I don't know if that'll be useful here. I can also summon rattlesnakes. Um, cloud kill. Yeah, I swear I have summon leviathan. I don't think I have enough for that. That's like a lot of money, and I don't, I don't have that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's do. Craftify. I swear I had something that was good against Daedra. That's an erection spell. I don't. I, I don't think that's gonna help me out here. Um. I don't think Fornicate's gonna help me out either. Uh, Force of Nature. Let's see. I think summoning snakes in Skyrim wouldn't work. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, let's try. I could have sworn I had something. You know what? Let's try. Uh, hurl into oblivion. Okay. <laughs> you know, cold. Can, can, are there no cold snakes? Can snakes not be cold? I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's try, this is, I wish I could unlearn spells because I am glad we found all the spells at the very beginning, but like, I am kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> I'll be real with you. This is this is a lot. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just see if my wives are gonna come with me. Okay, let, let's see. Wait, are you guys coming? You guys coming? Oh, God. Um, here, let's try giving it another hit with the good old sex caliber. Because I could have sworn you could break these, but okay, well. Guess I'm going in alone. All right, let's try Sunblast and Sex Caliber. Sex Caliber wouldn't steer me wrong. That'd be that'd be crazy. Are you guys coming? 
Oh jeez. Um I don't I don't like this. This is this is not gonna be a good time. Hi everyone, welcome in gamer! I have Oh wait, no, my wives are coming. Okay, can you can you please teleport over here? I'm afraid. I'm I'm afraid. I'm in the RGB hell den and I'm I'm afraid. Thank you for the pasture check and the hydrate gaming. Mm. So hopefully my after five minutes they'll figure out they can go around. Yeah, there you go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't leave me all by my lonesome. I will cry. Okay. Where's the big boy? Hello? Okay, let's see. I know I can have some, like, uh, thingies, right? Where is it? The, where's the one that gives me the, the, the totems? Yeah, 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 yeah. Conjure earth totem. Yeah, yeah, do some, let's do earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake fun. But yes, this is, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. No, no, I don't want to meet my end, I'm afraid. Okay, come on. Okay. You're as good as dead. Wait, oh, he's still alive. Wait, I don't have enough magic for that spell. Shit, okay, uh, 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 fuck it. Uh, y'all want a wolf? Yeah. Wolf. Oh, shit. Okay, I need my healing thing. Where's my healing thing? Um, 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 restoration? Aura of... Yeah, okay, aura. Oh, I love auras. Oh, shit, we need to release this aura. Like, we... Ah, fuck! Okay, I should have, um... I I'm... Can I reload, please? I would like to reload. Oh, my boundary. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yes, we are. We are struggling. We are. We are sister struggling. And that's, um, no, we did not narrowly escape death. <laughs> that's not what happened. Hi, Octopi. Thank you so much, Gamer. I didn't know today was my anniversary. And then everyone had a party hat. And I was like, oh, shit. It's like, it's like a surprise party. I came in and everyone had party hats. I was like, it's for me. <laughs> okay, so... Let's try this again. I'm not dealing with this shit again. Okay, what spells are we using? We're, okay. We just need to accept that the druid thing didn't work out and we are just gonna be a heel slut for all our girlfriends now. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with being a heel slut. You know, it's okay. Where's the one that did the damage and the... <laughs> We're not adding a Skyrim death counter. No. Um, it was death cloud? No, it was one of... Aura of might. I think that's what it was. Okay. All right. Are we good? Okay, we got we got we got the wives. We're ready to we're ready to vibe. Okay. Come on. Okay. Here, go in front. Okay. There we go. And then bramble thorns. Bramble thorns. We'll do that. We're just gonna. I don't know where the fuck he is, so we're just gonna put bush everywhere. Okay. And then we're gonna cast again. There you go. Come on, ladies. Oh shit. Uh. Come on. Oh fuck. Okay, how's he doing so much? What is doing so much damage? What is doing so much damage? Okay, heal me, please. Thank you. Okay, is there anything else I can do that's like big healing? Well, that's healing, healing. Uh, mass immortality. You know what? That sounds. Okay, I don't have enough for that. That's fine. Um, let's do. What's what? What, what else is on the menu? What else is on the menu? Uh, spirit of the oak. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. What was that? I don't know what I'm doing. I just... Okay, great. Okay. And then... Oh, my God. Oh, there's shades. Okay, we're just gonna cast that everywhere. And then... Hope that's okay. Oh, my God. There's so many spells. There's so many spells. There's so many things happening. Um... Let's see. Uh... Spirit fire. Okay. Yeah. Pyre. I, I love me a good pyre. Okay, where... where yeah. Did we do it? Okay, it's no longer dark in here. That's nice. Um, what the fuck was that? I, I don't want his underwear, dude. I'm good. What's this spinning ball? I want to kick it. Kick. Okay. Um, can I move it? No. Okay. Well, I can move that dead body. So that, that's got to count for something. Yeah. What is going on here? This is not. This is not good. Um, well, at least I got 75 gold, so not a total loss. <sighs> Jesus Christ. And it's still RGB in here. That's fucked up, okay? That's fucked up. Anime Titty Milk. Welcome to the stream, Anime Titty Milk. I like your name quite a bit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I go out this way? Because the barricade's cucking me again, and I don't like it. I keep getting cucked, and I'm not a fan of it. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, why is that dead guy on the wall? Damn. If I died and, like, can you imagine your, like, dead corpse is on a wall and someone is like, damn, 
You got a flat ass. Like, if someone said my ass was flat in death, I I think I'd haunt them for the rest of my time. And I say that because that poor man, I saw that poor man up against the wall, dead. And I was like, damn, he's got a flat ass. Like, that's what I was thinking internally. I would be so mad, though. Like, I don't know. What is your guys' opinion on ghosts? How do you feel about, like, paranormal shit? Oh, shit. You did it. Yeah, You're speaking of which. Hero. Yay. Now I can go be with my mommy and daddy. Have fun. I won't need this anymore, so you can have it. It helps me hide from that bad man sometimes. Okay. Uh, sure. Have, find your family, I guess. Okay, then. I think it's time for me to go now. I'll never forget you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Well, uh, see you later, alligator. Okay. She is okay. I'll see you later, alligator. Thought they were real until uh, it turned out the evidence we had was just a picture of me. <laughs> you were the ghost. Oh my god. Wait, stop. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what is this haunting presence? Oh, this is me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I don't know. I could see my parents like calling me a ghost or some shit. Uh, no, I do kind of want to start playing Elder Scrolls Online again. Here's the thing with Elder Scrolls Online, is I liked Elder Scrolls Online, right? I always enjoyed it. And the only reason I stopped playing Elder Scrolls Online was because I got the membership for it, right? But then I stopped being able to afford the membership, and it just wasn't fun to me anymore. Like, I, I, I feel like the membership just gives you more, like, shit. I don't remember a ton about it. The membership only gives you, like, more, like, storage and shit like that. But I was so used to it, I was just like, no, no, we, we, we can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no. So I kind of want to start playing it again, but I don't know. I feel like with how busy I am, I just don't have, like, the time to commit to an MMO. Oh, god damn it! I accidentally toggled my virginity again. Shit. That's okay. What was the button for toggling virginity? Which button was it? Oh, that's my outfit toggle. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> my model's still broke in the sense that, like, my, um, my outfit's still sometimes, like, I'll toggle an outfit. Oh, okay. Now it will let me talk. Sometimes my, it'll let me toggle off, but sometimes it won't. It's no B. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Like, it's not that huge of a deal, but I just don't have the time to devote to, like, an MMO right now. I wish I did. And I tried getting into Final Fantasy, because I know a lot of people that play Final Fantasy, and I just, just like, like I couldn't get boss. into it, bro. Ah, did you think so much for the follow? You know, I guess I could keep Girl Boss. They're having a free membership for seven days, but then what do I do when the membership ends? Then what? I'd be sad <laughs> and have no crafting slots. That's my problem. I don't know. David tried to get me into World of Warcraft. And I just like, and again, this was years ago. Like probably when we first started dating. And I just, I, I couldn't get into it. You know, I just, it wasn't my vibe. It just, ugh, I couldn't do it. God, my feet, like just touch the ground. My feet still hurt from my fucking platforms. Oh, goodbye, ghost man. All right. Let's see. Is there any more bitches we have to train? All we've been doing is training people for free. Can I get like money or some shit? Wake up! Nothing like a brisk, cool day in sky. He does have cool armor. I'll give threat? him that. Um, we eliminated the threat. Now what? Hmm. This says uh, some archaeologists have been driving well, their dead. way into an old buried ruin. <laughs> Blizzard tends to do that to its games. <laughs> the archaeologists said they must have dug up something evil because they run for their lives. They run for their lives. <laughs> he sounds so much like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It fucks me up. Do I have to, like, train another person? Oh my god! I just, uh, Ciel? Ciel Phantom High from Black Butler? That's crazy. Okay. I just... I do like Helgen Reborn, and I want to finish it, but it just feels so repetitive, you know? Like, I still want to play it, right? I'm still gonna do it, because I want to know how this shit ends, you know? But I'm like, how many bitches do we have to train? How many? When is it, when is it Jover? Come with me. Where are we going? Don't worry about it. Ugh. I just have I don't care. Let, we're going. Quarter. Come on. When I was a child. Come on. They still give me chills to this day. Sounds like fun. I don't care. Come on. Okay. Investigate the dig site. Where's where's the dig site? Dig site? Dig site. Okay. Let's just fast travel over here. I don't know. I am thinking about like I don't know. I am thinking about starting a new playthrough because I have some ideas for a new character, but I also know a lot of people like Severin and the harem, and I like our harem too, but like, 
I don't know. I'm kind of just am, like, not sure where to go with him after Helgen Reborn, you know? I had an idea for, like, oh my god, what was it? I think it was, like, a paladin type, because I think there are a lot of cool restoration, like, spells and stuff, but I was thinking about starting a new character soon where we do, like, companions and maybe, like, some other stuff. Have you tried the Vigilant mod? I have not. I don't know what that is, actually. Feel free to tell me, though. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I know a lot of people are excited with, um... I know a lot of people really like um, Severin, but I don't know. All right, let's go down in here inside this mysterious hatch where I'm sure everything is fine and everything is normal because it always is in, in Skyrim. Okay, all right. Come on, posse. Let's just go in. Head oh, my God. Don't give me a disease. Okay, thank you. You always have to ask the Rast ni nicely to not give you a disease. What the fuck? Okay, that's a troll. I didn't see it for a second because my glasses are off and I was like, what the fuck is that? All right, do not pass go. Do not collect $300. Yeah, go away. It's very similar to Dark Souls. Is it just like hardcore Skyrim? Because I used to like, something I've always wanted to try is Requiem. I always thought the Requiem mods were really cool, but I never got them working because I was about to do a playthrough with them at one point. Um, and then, uh, Modpocalypse, like, 3 happened. <laughs> so I never, like, I kind of just ditched all my plans to play, um, to play, uh, oh, yeah. what's it called? To play the, um, that one. <laughs> I can't do speak today. You can tell I haven't taken my meds. All right, what's over here? We're just doing this as fast as we can because I don't give a fuck, okay? All right, let's see. But yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas for what we do with uh, with Severin after this? Or do you think it's almost going to be time to move on to a new character? What do you guys think? Please let me know, because I'm honestly not sure. I do like Severin a lot, and I am excited to get back to our Pathfinder game, because he is related to... Um... <gasps> oh, okay. Are you done? Oh, okay, you're done. You're done. Okay. Um, but he is related to one of my, uh, my Pathfinder... Okay, I can't say that word anymore. One of my Pathfinder... Uh... Pals. <laughs> My Pathfinder pals. So, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Severin is uh, my friend in this Skyrim playthrough. He's my, my good buddy, my good buddy pal. Um, because <laughs> we can't say the C word. Well, we can say the C word. We can say con. We just can't say the one that's just been banned in chat. So, I'm usually really bad about word bans, but I'm going to try. I'm gonna, I do my darndest, okay? I just don't think ever i don't speak you know so well he's not an npc because he is playable i'm playing him right now pathfinder palace sounds like a toy line me and david were talking about this the other day during um the fallout stream the other day is like wizards of the coast owns dungeons and dragons right they own all that shit they own magic they own, they own wizards of the coast right so why the fuck don't they do, like, minis or action figures of, like, prominent D&D &D monsters and people in, like, the Forgotten Realms and shit? They have the, the ability to do so. Why? It's, like, just free this money. It's a little creepy. That they're, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Wait, or, I thought her tits were out for a second. Okay, I had, to, I had a moment. Um, but I feel like there's an opportunity there to just, like, print money. And they just don't do it for whatever reason. Again, I'm not... Y'all know my stance on Wizards of the Coast, but, like, I'm like a little beholder with dart eyes. Hell yeah. Like, I'm not a big fan of Wizards of the Coast, like, uh, like a lot of tabletop RPG players these days. But, like, I just don't get why they don't do that, you know? It's free money. All right. Hi. Hello. I smell blood. Why would you... Oh. Oh, good... <laughs> Goodbye. Um... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hi, Dracon! I have played Magic. I used to play... I don't play as much anymore, but I used to play a lot of Commander. Um, I kind of want to get back into it, but I don't want to give Wizards of the Coast my money. <laughs> right now, what we've been doing is we've literally been printing cards. <laughs> we've just been making our own proxies because we're like, fuck it, you know? Like... I don't know. I just, I don't want to give them my money. But here's the thing. It's like, we have, like, been trying to look for a new local game store to start going to. Because we do want to start playing with some new people and meeting some new people. But we don't know if they would like our, um, our habit of just making proxies of everything. You know? Uh, let me see. Get a piece of paper, write the name of the paper, then put it in his sleeve. Valid. Um, uh, let me see. 
Is there, there's gotta be a way to, I, this really looked like a room where I was gonna, like, have to fight this guy, but he's just chilling, I guess. Um, hmm, there's gotta be a lever or something, then. Uh, hmm, I don't know. But yeah, I did like playing, um, I did like doing draft events and stuff like that. I've never been a modern kind of gal, but, um, I did like, um, I did like doing drafts for, I think the last draft I played, oh, it opened. When did it open? Huh? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll take it. I don't know what I did, but we did it. Uh, hi, Vicari. Welcome. Um, I'm good. We are just chilling. We are thinking about maybe making a new character, but I'm not sure. I really am not sure. But, um, yeah, I think the last set I drafted was Kamigawa, and I really like Kamigawa. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. What? Oh, I was... <laughs> I was like, what's that noise? And it's like, oh, don't, don't just, okay. You're fine. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need to watch where I'm going, okay? I'm clearly, I'm being a little, a little reckless. Um, do we go up? I guess we're going up. Let's find door number one. A wall. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let's find the trap door. I don't think I was supposed to go this way, but I was just kind of intrigued. Oh, hello! Oh, shit! I said the C word. I <laughs> that word's been banned, but I said it. God damn it. That's okay. A disgusting stealth archer. I Didn't we do stealth archer already? We did ah. stealth archer. What I've been thinking of was doing a, um... A, like, holy warrior paladin and doing something that's, like, more in line with Winter Sun. Um, I think that's what it's called. The religion mod? Because we never do anything... I feel like we're always a godless heathen. And I think maybe we could, like, not do that for once. You know? Like, just maybe, like, do a little religion as a treat, you know? I've been exhausted. I feel you. Work has been kicking my ass lately. So if a few streams get canceled here and there, I apologize. Just because I've been busting my balls as per usual. I thought this character was the paladin. Uh, yeah, okay, clearly. <laughs> I thought this guy was the paladin. Not, okay, he, here's the thing. I intended for him to be a druid, right? I wanted him to be like a plant druid, but... There's not really, like, even with Apocalypse, I haven't had a lot of success. Yeah. Oh, that looks like it's the last time himself gets around. What was that noise? What, what was that? What, what was that? What? Did I do that? It's thousands of years old. Who knows what we might find? Okay. Well, welcome in! I'm going to a holy warrior that's going to be a lot of uh, focus on conquering halls instead of the unholy. Listen. Bitches love men with morals. Oh, you're dead. Uh, but someone's not dead. Oh, hello? Hi? Okay, he's somewhere over there. He's probably upsies. Did you hear something? Ah! Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, you guys, ladies, why don't y'all deal with that? I'm just gonna... Oh, hi! There you go, bud. Um, <laughs> that's the thing, is I feel like I, like, had an idea for a character... For, for this guy... And then it just didn't happen, you know? Okay, find the claw that opens the lock gate. The black glass claw? I've never heard of that one. Okay. Time to do some exploring then, I guess. Uh, they do have disease immunity. Welcome in, everybody, though. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We are gaming today. I feel like I've been kind of all over the place today. I hope that's okay. I always feel like... I, I don't know why I forgot to take my ADHD medicine today, but... It feels like I've been really bad at keeping up with that kind of thing lately, and I need to not do that. <laughs> I need to actually take my medication. Uh, let's see. Yeah, can, can I open this? Can I open this? Yeah. I need to retake the D&D alignment test, because I took the alignment test forever ago, and I kind of want to retake it, because the last time I took it, it gave me chaotic evil, and I'm not sure if that's... I'm not sure if that's correct. You know? Like, I know I'm a little quirky, but I don't think I'm evil, you know? Like, I think I'm, like, a nice guy. I don't think I'm, like, a bad person. Like, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, sing your shit. I want to hear the important thing. Hell yeah. Evil just means you're self-centered? Ah, oh, well, that checks out. <laughs> I'm a VTuber. Of course I am. Booty. Hell yeah. Uh, welcome in, Ninja, though. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, everyone. Oh, ah! Ah! What was that? What was that? How'd that? It will be fun, they say. 
Come, come on, bro, bro, bro. It, it, it's cool. You're, you're good. You're good. You're good. Where's the one that heals you? <laughs> oh, that's destruction. That's the opposite of living. That's the murdering. Here, why don't you, um, just, um, here, there you go, there you go, bud. You're good. You're, you're good. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. What's your favorite guild? Like in Skyrim, you mean? I have always been a Dark Brotherhood kind of bitch. I love the Dark Brotherhood. We did them a few, um, I think the playthrough before this, and I, I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, I, I liked it a lot. Let me see if I can just, because I don't have Whirlwind Sprint, so I'm just gonna... Okay, we got a little bit impaled. That's fine. Uh, hey, 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 can I, can I, okay, my wives are just gonna handle it for me, I guess. Cool. I mean, I guess this playthrough has been good to like mess around with some of the spell mods a little bit more, but I have been feeling kind of overwhelmed with them. You know what I mean? I don't know. And Helgen Reborn was a mod that I had a lot of high hopes for, but yeah. oh, geez, just stop. Okay, anyway. It just seems like it's been kind of super repetitive. Like, all we've been doing is clearing these minor Draugr ruins, and we haven't really, like, uh, uh. Have any of you guys played Helgen Reborn and have the same feel? <gasps> Excuse me! I'm really off my shit today when it comes to, like, looking for traps. I am, I am not on top of it. Does this heal me, too? Or is it just... Okay, it heals me a little bit. That's nice. Um... I'm just off my shit today. It's not that great. That's so disappointing. I was so excited for it. Like, I feel like it had, like, such great potential. You know what I mean? I but, like... Ah! What okay, thank you. I, something is killing me. Here, y'all... Y'all handle that. Um, but, yeah, I just... I don't know. I thought it would be better, but I'm really not jiving with it. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I kind of, like... Eh. Eh. I'm thinking. Here, you guys handle that. Yeah, that looks like the last of them. Yeah, okay. I don't know, because that's like... I'm wondering what else I'd want to do with you him. You know where you're going, don't you? No, I don't. I have no fucking idea. Do we have to go around, or is there a way out this way? Like, is there a shortcut? There is a treasure chest, so that's nice. I don't know, because here's the thing. is I feel like I'm kind of like... I don't know. You know? I don't know. I blame Dark Souls for all your problems. Relatable. Relatable. <laughs> is Oblivion good? I haven't played it. I played Oblivion a long time ago, and I never finished it, and I was really bad at it. <laughs> so I cannot answer that question. It's one of those games where some people would debate if it holds up well, I feel like, because it is old, you know? But I feel like it, like, highly depends on who you ask. Cause some people will say it's not worth playing. Some people say it is worth playing. I've had a lot of people tell me to play Morrowind. I've had a lot of people tell me not to even bother with Morrowind, you know? Okay, my followers are dying, but th they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay, here's a... Um, um, I don't know why I did that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I don't know. I tried playing Arena the other day and the controls were awful. I used to play Magic Arena. But I... Oh, wait. You're talking about fucking... <laughs> I'm so stupid. You're talking about um, Elder Scrolls Arena. I, my, we were talking about magic earlier, so I was like, oh, okay. Here, yeah, let me quick save real quick. I don't know. I just feel like I'm, like, not really feeling this character anymore, you know? And I, 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 it, I have mixed feelings because it feels like we've never been able to truly finish out a playthrough because it's like a crash happens or a save gets corrupted or this, that, and the other, and it doesn't, like have the dramatic end I want it to. But with Severin, I'm kind of like, he's got his bitches. He's got a castle. Like, mans can retire, you know? So I don't, I don't know, you know? Maybe, hmm. I don't know. Isn't that the normal Skyrim experience? Bitches in a castle. I mean, yeah, I just feel like his adventure is kind of like, I don't know, you know? I don't know. I feel like his adventure might be Jover, you know? Because Helgen Reborn... <sighs> How many reborns being kind of mid? I'm gonna be honest, you know? Let's get out of this dungeon, then we'll feel, we'll figure out what we wanna do. Right now, I think the mod list is at 750. <laughs> but, you know, just, we can always go bigger. You know, we can, we can always go bigger, you know? I don't know. I'm just kind of, I feel like I'm kind of burnt out with his playthrough specifically, and I'm ready to start something new, you know? And I don't wanna just, I like having the two separate playthroughs, so I don't want to just combine them, per se, you know? But, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? 
Let's see if we can get out of this quest, but... I don't know. I think there's a follower that gives you her milk. Yeah, we never got Misty Sky back. <laughs> that is a cool-looking claw, though. That looks really cool. Um, Continue to explore the ruin. I don't want to. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Why are you burnt? Okay, that's probably an impolite question to ask, but, you know. Um, hmm. Let's see. Maybe time for him to settle down with his harem in his castle. I think I think we might do that. Let's get out of this dungeon, and then we'll... It might be his time. You know? It might be his time, and that's okay. You know? Alright, let's see. Activate. Ooh! The runes look very cool in this mod, but the problem is I want to step on it more. Eh, fuck it. Yay! Okay. Alright, let's see... Over here? Chat, I'm gonna be so real with you. I don't want to. <laughs> continue to explore. No! I don't want to continue to explore. I want to go yeah. home! Okay? Alright, well, let's see what's over here. There might be something cool, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'm playing this quest out of spite. Oh my god, there's more? Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I thought, I'm, I just feel betrayed. Everyone told me Helgen Reborn was gonna be really good. It's Jover. It's so Jover, bro. Okay, hold up. This does look cool, though. That's the nice thing about Skyrim, is it always looks pretty. <laughs> I'm tired of clearing this dungeon. And then there's a puzzle? A puzzle. Yeah, no, fuck this. We're starting a new one. <laughs> okay. Listen, 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 listen. I think this playthrough was good for experimenting with some new mechanics, okay? We kind of got a lot of followers. We experimented more with NFF. Okay, that was a win. We got to try a lot of new spells. That was a win. We bought a castle. That was a win. Because the goals of this stream has always been to explore the big-ass immersive mod list. Okay? So I think we still had some Ws. Okay? But... Helgen Reborn was what I wanted to end Severin with. And I'm going to be so real with you. I am not enjoying it. However, we did have a cool Civil War experiment, and we did fuck the shit out of Rika in front of the entire Imperial Army, and we fucked her so hard we never saw her again. And you know what? A win is a win, okay? A win is a fucking win. <laughs> Welcome in, though. Hi, and hello, gamers. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run an ad because I'm out of green tea, okay? We're gonna run an ad real quick. Don't leave me, or I will shit my pants and cry. And then we're gonna figure out what the fuck it is we want to do. Okay? We're gonna figure out what the fuck it is we want to do. What do you mean, what'd you miss? We we came, we fucked, we conquered. That's that's all there is to it. <laughs> so give me a second. I'm gonna get some, some more drink and maybe a snack. I forgot to eat dinner, by the way. So we'll do that. That, that. That's a problem for later, EB. Okay, that's a problem for later, EB. I will be right back. Okay? I promise.
Okay. Okay. We are going to start a new playthrough because that's what I want to do. Okay? That is just what I want to do. And that's okay. I feel kind of bad because I feel like a lot of people like seeing the start of playthroughs. But, like, my thing is, like... Here's what we're going to do. And I should have done this before. I'm going to end the stream real quick. So that way I can upload this part as, like, okay, this is the end of Severin's playthrough. And then I'm going to restart the stream. <laughs> so I can be, like, new playthrough. <laughs> okay? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I want to wait till as we're over to tell you, but that's what I'm gonna do. So let us all say one final goodbye to Severin, and then we will bring up a new bitch. Okay, it's new bitch time. Okay, new bitch time. Ready, set, 